friends, this is Janet with Photography Makes, and I've decided to come on to do a little, I don't know, make with me um, kind of redemption. <laughs> uh, so I'm making these little soda bottles, and I wanted to make them shakers, but I am not the best shaker maker. So I've decided to start over and make just some flat embellishments. So I'm using a AliExpress die, and actually it comes with a, another um, another little piece. So this does turn um, your bottles into shakers, but I'm gonna do them just as a flat embellishment today. So I was inspired by this stamp set. Oh, here, let's put it on white so you can see it. So this little stamp set here, which is um, like soda, punny kinds of things. So I really want to do, I've got a crush on you. I've already stamped that one out. Uh, I want to do this one that says, I'm always rooting for you. So like a brown root beer bottle. And then I love everything you do, D-E-W, like, um, like Mountain Dew. <laughs> so um, let's see, I cut out four. That's okay. I cut out four. So I'm going to do... Um, an orange, a brown, a green, and maybe a second orange. I'm not sure. The orange is fun. I like the, I have a crush on you. I think that's super cute. So, um, they're kind of Valentine's day -y, I think. So I am going to start by, um, coloring my white pieces. So I'm going to use Distress Oxide and Carved Pumpkin, um, Vintage Photo for the root beer, and actually, I didn't pull my green out yet, but let's look. Let's see what green we should use. Ooh, probably Twisted Citron, huh? I would say Twisted Citron's probably... I think, so, yeah, I think that's one we're going to go with. That'll be the most fun. So with that said, I also have um, these little neon cubes. Maybe this would be good for the stamping of the sentiment. Is it too crazy, like, color-wise? I don't know. Let's see. That's the neon. And then this is the Twisted Citron. Oh, they're a little different. That's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. And... So we'll stamp my sentiment in the neon green. Why don't we do that now while we have it out? So this is going to be the Mountain Dew one. <laughs> um, I am using a um, die from My Creative Time. It's called Stitch Zigzag Dies. This is the whole set here. And... There's another die that cuts this little tag out, which I think is super cute. I really like the shape of it. It fits the sentiments really well on this particular project. So that is what I'm using. I have never stamped this um, stamp set out, so they're, they're new. Um, they are unbranded as far as I know. I did purchase them on Etsy. A while back so still might be something you can find I'm not sure okay so let's stamp this out it's gonna be a little crooked I see that's okay I wonder if I would have been better off doing this one that one's a that one's really thin isn't it let me see if this one would be better I'm going to, I'm going to, um, cut this guy out real quick. Hold on a second. <laughs> okay. Let's see if this actually, this might look better on a, a different shape. So let's do the longer one. I hope everybody's doing well today. 
I'm trying really hard to be creative and sometimes I struggle with that. I'm not sure if others do, but I do at times. Oh, there's my little sentiment. Can you see that? Okay. So let's, let's start blending our soda bottles. So I'm going to um, start at the bottom and kind of fade up. Um, this soup, this brush is super dirty. So if it looks like it's a different color, it probably is a mix of greens. Uh, it's just like one more thing in my life I have to clean. <clears throat> So I just want all the color kind of on the bottom here. And then we're going to kind of fade up the neck. Okay. I don't think this set had an extra um, top, like a bottle cap. I guess there's a couple ways we can address that. We can either cut out another piece, maybe, oh, maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll cut out another bottle and just snip off the top in like gray or something. I'm sure I have, or like a metallic piece. That would be fun too. Okay. So there's our, there's our do. I'm going to kind of let that hang out for a minute. This one we're going to throw away for now. Okay. The next one we're going to do is... Um, let's do this this one because we have it stamped out already. Crush, orange crush. So same thing. We're going to use carved pumpkin and kind of put the color on the bottom. Kind of drag it up here. This one's a juicy pad. Okay. That's all right. So I'm just pushing this up here. Fading it right to the top. Okay, that went quick. And then we'll do the root beer. So we'll, we can do the soda real, or the soda bottle quick and then we'll stamp out our sentiment. I'm thinking that'll, that one should fit on the wider one. We'll see. If it doesn't, we can just cut another one out real quick. So. My vintage photo is the most used. Can you see? Am I on screen here? <laughs> Let me make sure I'm on screen. Oh. Okay. This one's not blending as nicely as I'd like it to, but we're just going to work it out. Okay, that's not so bad. Okay, so next, let's let me stamp this out real quick. Let's see if this one will fit. This is the um, I'm rooting for you. Oh yeah, okay. So um, we got brown. So let's stamp it in brown. I've got. Let's see. We'll use the Memento Cocoa, Rich Cocoa for this. I like Memento inks. So I'm going to stamp this off, make sure it stamps okay. All right. Kind of eyeball center. Okay. Oh, cute. Okay. I think these are adorable. <laughs> I really like the, uh, the punny. Okay. So next thing I want to do is I want to spray these. So I'm going to spray these with some mica stain. So I've got crooked broomstick. I've got jack-o'-lanterns, this beautiful orange color. And then I've got bubbling cauldron, which is green. So I have a little, um, Got a little spray box here. This is gonna be off camera, but 
I'm gonna spray these real quick. Okay, now that they're all sprayed, they seem to dry pretty quick. So I'm just gonna take a paper towel here and kind of dab off any big globs that happened. So far, they're looking really fun. <laughs> Kind of a little bit bubbly, and that's exactly what I was going for. Okay, so um, let's see. On my shaker one, I did add, can you see there? I did add some little, um, like, bubbles. Um, and I'm not sure if I want to do that for these. No, I think I do. I think we're going to. I'm just not sure how long it'll take to dry. Um, okay, so I have this bubble stencil. It's, um, I hope you can see that. Yeah, you can see that. It's called Snowfall Stencil. I use this stencil a lot, actually. I really like it. Um, <laughs> it just, it's just a multi-purpose stencil. So, and it's kind of fun because it has like, a thicker snowfall on the top and then it kind of thins out towards the bottom so um i also have some like heavy white gesso i think that's what i'm going to use for this because i think it dried pretty quick i also have i'm trying to think of what else i could use i could use matte acrylic paint um i want to say the gesso dried pretty quick so I'm going to use, I still can't find my favorite spatula, so I'm going to use this one. Um, and we're just going to kind of lay it on the edge and just kind of swoop up. So let's put a little bit, I'm going to put a little bit on here. A little bit goes a long way. We can always add more. <laughs> All right. Um, when this dries, this does pick up some of the color, which is totally fine by me because it blends in a little more uh, with the bottle. It's not like so stark white. And that's totally fine by me. All right, so I'll get a little more. Yes, I moved my stencil. That's okay. All right, those were half, half bubbles here. That's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. All the bubbles don't have to be filled. It's kind of preference at this point. Okay, let's see how that looks. Yeah, see how that adds just like a little bit of texture. All right, let's get this one out of the way. Let's get the green one over here. <laughs> it's a little messy too, and that's okay. That's fun, right? I'm gonna move this a little more so I don't squish it. All right. Still have some gesso on here, so we're just gonna use what's on my scraper. Okay. All right, green is good. We're gonna kind of move this guy over a little bit. Move these out of the way so they can dry. And then I'm gonna do the orange one. Gonna add a little more gesso. Whoops, not how I wanted that to go. <laughs> Kinda goes with the rest of my week. Okay, I'll scoop that up. Okay, and then once I'm done with this, I'm actually going to go and wash my stencil and my scraper off. So I'm going to go do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my uh, gesso is dried, um, we're going to decorate the bottles. So I also have this die set. It's called um, Bottles and Bubbles um, from Stampin' Up. And they had this cute little 
uh, like pop can die and this little heart and I cut those out and they this um, the set that comes from Allie the uh, soda bottles also come with a label so that's this piece here so I cut those out in vellum okay um, I also use the same gold paper as the bottle top for the top of the bottle so it's a gold a gold foiled paper which I think is really fun so now we're just going to kind of assemble and see <laughs> see where this is going um, I really didn't have a vision I just kind of uh, just wanted to play I guess so I'm going to attach this with some APG because the sentiment is going to pretty much cover over this anyways. Um, am I going to hate that it pops up a little bit? I don't know. I might. I don't know. Kind of adds some texture. So we're going to roll with it. I love how these mica sprays look. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. It's sad I'm covering most of that one up. But look at this. Look how pretty this color is. Can you see all that pretty shimmer? Yum, yum, yum. Okay. <laughs> oh, sometimes that's just how it goes. All right. Okay. So I'm going to also um, glue on my tops here. Let's get these out of the way for a second. Seems like the first one's the only one that's curling. I'm not sure why. No. Oh, I did not want to do that. Can we redeem this glue, <laughs> this glue situation? Oh my goodness. I feel like a hot mess tonight. I've got glue and dye and ink and all the things all over me. Okay. It's just part of the process sometimes. All right. Next one. Okay, do the last one real quick. All right, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one and then I'll come back on and show the rest, I guess. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do for the rest, this one I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with yet because it's like <laughs> a little crazy, <laughs> it's okay. So I'm going to use some pop dots um, for the sentiment here. So let me see. I'll stick one here and one here. That should cover. Hopefully it's not falling off. Okay. Also, should I edge this. Let's give this a little whatever's left on my brush here. We're just gonna give it a little little brush. There we go. So it's not so not so stark white. I've got a crush on you. How cute. Okay and then I was thinking of using the bottle cap and like tying it around. And we can even use this heart that popped out of the middle and maybe like stick it on the sentiment or something like that. It's supposed to be Valentine's Day, right? So, okay, so let's get out um, some orange twine. Kind of all have them stuck in this jar. Come on out, please. Here's the brown, there's the orange, okay. 
And these are just from, um, these are like from Dollar Tree. I just stuck them in a drawer. So I have um, every color of twine just about. So I just want to cut off a long piece. I can trim it as I go. And let's see. Let's loop this on. We're going to go from the back. So this is just experimental. I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> kind of want a bow. So we're going to kind of loop this around a couple of times. Ooh, is that going to lay flat? That'd be nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and knot this. Oh, I'll scoop this down. I want this kind of close together. And I want this kind of like a charm. So let's move this up a little bit, maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is probably painful to watch. I'm sorry. My, <laughs> oh, my giant fingers. Okay, hold on. Let's try this again. We can make a big loop and then lower it, make it smaller in a minute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, the struggle is real, guys. Okay. Oh, did I get it? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take the pressure off. I'm gonna turn this off for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, I got them all tied and they are finished. Here how here's how they turned out. I've got a crush on you. These cute. They're sparkly and shimmery, and they've got some textures, and some gold accents. I just love how these turned out. They actually, I think they turned out really cute. I'm glad I started over. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this. Have a great day. Bye.